Hi, I'm Dr. Chad McGee today here to discuss with you how to get about uh, how to get vital signs in your horse. So vital signs would be temperature, pulse, respiration. You may hear some people refer to it as TPR. So temperature, that's pretty self-explanatory. We get rectal temperatures in horses. Um, don't be bashful with them. If you just put the little teeny tiny metal tip in, you're not going to get an accurate reading. Um, those of you get, if you guys have ever had a horse that's colicked or seen one that's colicked, Veterinarians, we're not bashful. We put on a big sleeve and uh, it's a lot more invasive than that little thermometer. So don't worry about offending them too much. Um, that being said, if you've got a horse that's a known kicker or anything like that, don't risk getting hurt over it. It's not worth that. Um, as far as getting a pulse on them, there's a number of places that you're actually able to get a pulse. So right here where Wyatt's cheek meets his, meets his jaw here, if you see where the rope is following right here, there's actually an artery that runs right there as well that you can, uh, you can feel that artery sometimes and get a pulse on that, especially if you got a horse that's pretty quiet and keeping his head still. It's pretty easy to, I shouldn't say pretty easy. It's not terribly difficult to do there, but if you got one that's just constantly bopping his head around, it can be rather difficult and a little bit on the annoying side. Other place that you can get it, you can also feel if, uh, if they have an increased digital pulse and it's pretty easy to feel. You can feel it by feeling the digital vein, artery, and nerve that runs down their fetlock right here. And they also have it on the inside of their fetlock right there as well. Probably the easiest and, uh, and most reliable place to, to get a heart rate on them though is going to be if you have a stethoscope listening right here and uh, actually putting the, the bell of the stethoscope right in underneath their elbow. Now if you see how Wyatt's standing right here, he's kind of got that left front tucked back a little bit and that can make it pretty difficult in order to hear his heart rate. So. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll have him do what Wyatt just did there for us now and step back a little bit so that he's got that left front out a little bit more. Then that way the point of his elbow right here isn't actually blocking that window where you're able to hear his heart over his rib cage there. So, but don't be, don't be bashful. Actually take the, take the bell of the stethoscope and, and wedge it right in underneath his elbow if you have to. Sometimes it'll get a little ticklish at first, but right there is where you're going to be able to hear it. And, you might have to fish around a little bit for it in order to be able to hear it. It's a super useful piece of information to be able to get and can give your vet a lot of information if, if you wind up in kind of an urgent situation and trying to help your vet figure out what's going on with your horse over the phone. The other piece of the TPR is respiration. So pretty easy to feel. Um, I shouldn't say, shouldn't say feel. Pretty easy to see just by looking at, if you sit here and just watch their side for a little bit, you're able to see the, the excursion on their chest wall and tell when they're breathing in and out. Another thing you can do is just kind of have a, let them get used to it a little bit, but if you have an arm kind of near their nose or something like that, you can feel them breathing on you. Um, sometimes you'll have to let them take a little bit because when you first put a hand or an arm there, a lot of times they're going to sniff it a little bit. So normal heart rate on them is anywhere from 36 to 42. Normal respiratory rate, anywhere from 12 to 16. And normal temp on them is anywhere from 99.5 to 101.5. That being said, I got a lot of horses that run down in the 98 range and uh, that, that's normal for them. So if your horse is one of those ones that's a little bit colder blooded, um, it's a good thing to know if he's sitting at like 101.1 or something like that. I might, I might look at him a little bit with a little bit, a little bit more skepticism of everything being normal there. So anyways, hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps and helps you guys get some more information. Thanks again. Take care.